Hi, this is Edip, February 1st, 2021. Two viruses throughout history intoxicates people, turn very otherwise good people into barbarians, into the worst people. That is, one is racism, the other is religious fanaticism. Of course, when I say religion, I don't consider monotheism in the category of religions because monotheism is rational. Rational monotheism is peaceful, is uh, very different than it doesn't have dogmas. It, anyway, uh, if you follow uh, some of my videos, if you read my books, you will understand what I'm saying. Now, I will be talking about Turkey, what's going on in Turkey. All, every day there are some major events happening, but recently uh, an event has been lasting for a few days, which is very because it's always changing. One is not changing for 19 years. The religious party called AKP, 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 led by Recep Tayyip Erdogan, who is my former uh, schoolmate and later uh, comrade from the political, religious political party of er uh, Erbakan. Then we parted our ways, thank God. And he has been governing Turkey for 19 years. Um, he is a corrupt uh, authoritarian leader, a big liar. He's a lying machine. Um, he is a thief in chief. He has stolen with his family and friends billions of dollars uh, with uh, poor people's uh, money. He built for himself the biggest mansion on earth. Uh, 1150 rooms as if it's not enough he's building right now another mansion in Marmaris the biggest mansion is in Ankara another in Marmaris by the sea 300 rooms and now that as if that's not enough the third one he's building in my town uh, Bitlis uh, a small uh, town there is called uh, Ahlat. Anyway, imagine his wife who just the price of one single bag that his wife purchased from Brussels, Brussels in Belgium. And we know the price of it because it was purchased in Belgium that uh, <clears throat> journalists could go and learn the price of it. It was 49000 995 euro anyway right now about 60 percent of turkish population living their wage monthly monthly income is below 500 dollars monthly income the base country is hungry jobless bankrupt but this guy has the most lavish lifestyle he has seven private jets but he talks about justice, about peace, about Islam, about Hazreti Omar, who was so just. He was, though he was leader, he he was walking with patched clothes, patchy clothes. He was not using the candle of the government for his personal work, tasks. He was so careful. This guy <laughs> preached people about Hazrat Omar or about God, but in Turkish history, he is the most corrupt by far. I think in, in the world, he will make top 10 biggest thief in history. And he's fascist right now. His coalition partner is well-known uh, fascist party in Turkey. 
Now, this guy recently, um, let me show you. About several weeks ago, maybe about a month, he appointed this guy as the uh, director or the president of Bosphorus University, which is my former, one of my former universities in Turkey, Bosphorus University is a beautiful university in Istanbul. Now what happened, this guy was rejected by all professors at Bosphorus University and students. They didn't want him because he's a member of AKP. He's, he was a former politician, ran for office in AKP. And he's also a, uh, he's a proven a plagiarist. This is uh, from his uh, graduation uh, yearbook. And in the yearbook, uh, it is written about him that he is, uh, anyway, uh, that he is a, a very talented plagiarist. And later, as a uh, graduating and uh, his thesis also, some of his article, uh, some of his articles show that it is uh, more than 30% plagiarism. He's not an academician. He's an ignorant guy, a politician, a liar, a thief. And he's appointed by Erdogan um, to the university. Well, university, both uh, student body and uh, academics, they all say they want to appoint their, pick their own uh, president. Not an appointment. They don't want a governor, governor hired, appointed by an authoritarian dictator, fascist, who filled Turkish prisons with journalists, with dissidents, with Kurdish people. Anyway, now what's happening, let me show you this one. But this guy is a... Okay. And recently there was a protest in Boğaziçi, Bosphorus University, and finally, now they are, Turkey, the whole Turkey talking about this picture. There is a, uh, whatever, it is, is a Bosphorus University on the campus, some students selling some artwork, some whatever it is, posters, and one of the posters, they put it on the floor. Either they put, or maybe covered uh, police, undercover police put it, because AKP has been doing this kind of provocation, false flag operation stuff, regardless whether they put or not. Now, the whole Turkey has been several days talking about this. There are millions of jobless and hungry people in Turkey incredible uh, devaluation in, in inflation, of course. People are struggling to live. But now this is what the country talking about, about how in the world these few students, they put, they insult our religion, this is Kaaba. Of course, uh, Sunnis and Shiites, they are not Muslims, they are not monotheists, they worship the stones, the black stone, they worship it. If you say, no, it's not worship, and then worship, there is, uh, there is no meaning for the worship. And uh, they s kill each other to kiss that black stone, the dirty stone on earth, because they keep kissing everyone's germ and viruses on it. <laughs> and it's an idol, it is uh, the most popular idol besides the cube building, which was a building to meet uh, there inside, to protect from the sun, from the uh, s uh, dust storms and stuff, from weather. But later they worshiped the rocks of that building, the stones of the building. They cover it with black uh, uh, 
silk and uh, tons of gold is used for calligraphy around it and they rotate around it and they worship and later they get stones in their hand they stone another stone there which they erected tall stone it's called obelisks obelisks i don't know how to pronounce that one anyway they get they kiss a black stone and then they rotate around a building made of stone and then they get stones in their hand stone the vertical stones which they erected pretending that it is devil and if you look at the historical picture of that stone in 1920s 30s you see there is one short stone there the devil was one and short small baby and somehow with time this devil is multiplied now there are three devils and they are tall it's well built by the real devil those people who make money out of this the saudi uh thieves corrupt uh oppressive uh, saudi kings and their stooges anyway now what happens now the turkey all these and police arrested about more than 50 students and president erdogan condemned this all the ministers condemned this all the head of the religious affairs who is always been the stooge an opium uh, seller um uh you know uh, <clears throat> uh this corrupt uh, dianet is called dianet the head of the religious affairs condemned these powerful words everyone the whole turkey is gone crazy it's unbelievable unbelievable countries talking about one or two students the this one is a lore a lot so what the building is on the floor hello those stones that you worship it is on the floor in Me <laughs> mecca yeah the picture of it on the floor who cares let them step on it and burn it it is their problem why you get so much reacting to this and they act exactly like mushriks depicted in the Quran, the idol worshippers, the enemy of prophets, they all act like this. They were very violent, very aggressively reacting against monotheists who were critical of their stupid religions. They wanted to kill them. They wanted to beat them. They wanted to evict them, which they did. And they are exactly acting like those mushriks those who associate partners with God, they associate Muhammad as a partner with God, as if Muhammad is enough, all other Sahaba and uh, Alims and Zalims, uh, they have long lists of their idols because they follow the religion, the teachings made up by them in the name of God, which is according to the Quran, it is the biggest crime. وَمَنْ أَظْلَمُ مِمَّنْ افْتَرَ عَلَى اللَّهِ كَذِبًا And also check verse 31 of chapter 9 and uh, verse 42 of uh, chapter uh, 42 verse 21. Now what they do, and uh, according to one verse I want to remind you if you care about the verses, of the Quran, about God, says if people, your opposition, the polytheist or hypocrites, if they are making mockery of your system, your trust in God, your monotheistic philosophy, your paradigm, leave their presence and then when they give up from making mockery, of your faith then continue your association with them your discussion with them doesn't say 
go crazy, yell at them, challenge them, threaten them, arrest them, put them in prison, bite them, kick them, slap them. No, none of them. Or kill them. They do kill. Well, this is the Quran, the book that Muhammad believed, but they don't follow the Quran. Anyone who insults Muhammad, they want to kill that person. Well, according to the Quran, if someone is insulting, making mockery, the only thing you say is peace and you leave their presence until they come into their senses, they seriously can discuss the issue based on reason and evidence. Simple. Now, what happened? Now, Turkey is in frenzy. And here it is like now, police, uh, I want you to see how... Police is beating the students. Anyway, and uh, crazy. Here it is. This is the Turkish uh, news agency, which is a fascist news agency, always is basically mouthpiece of Tayyip Erdogan. And here it is gives the, this is one of the another fascist party, which is side of party. They gone crazy. They are protesting this one. This picture of Kabe is on the floor. All they have gone crazy. What is it? A bunch of idiots. Backward people. Take jihad, shahadat, says we'll be martyr. Jihad, jihad, shahadat, martyr. Hello. Just crazy. The whole country gone crazy. Absolutely. At least 50% of the country are like this zombies. Like KNN, QNN, Q Cannon. Q Anon in the United States, Donald Trump's cult. Right now in Turkey, there is Type Erdogan's cult. In India, Modi's cult. These are cults. These are idiots. Well, here. <laughs> okay. Anyway, here it is. Turkish. I want you to see some English to get an idea. Unbelievable. These are arrested Bosphorus University students who do not want this appointed, plagiarist, corrupt uh, president. All students are protesting, uh, not a single professor wanting him, but he's forced upon these uh, students, Bosphorus University. Okay, that's enough. You can stop it by putting Turkish vanguard. Okay, I'm going to stop it.